My name's George McFeeters. I'm a general surgeon from Honolulu and the chief medical officer of a small insurance company. Why um, would, uh, have we not seen limited distribution of DDT, for example, to control, say, the outbreak of uh, Zika in a limited area? That would be my first question. My second question is, I worked for five years as a general surgeon in Tuba City on the reservation. I wonder what evidence there is for the idea that there was discrimination against the Navajo during the outbreak. Uh, we were unaware of that on the reservation. It may have been talked about in Phoenix, but there was no discussion of that on the res. Yeah, yeah I could. So we, the issue, um, and I would be happy to, to share some of the, the stories. I mean, there was entire communities of you know, school children from the Navajo reservation who were not allowed to go to Disneyland because they were coming from that area. You know, there was a lot of stories in the local press about this, you know, it's a Native American disease, you know, as opposed to it's a newly emerging disease that happened to come from that part of the planet. So, you know, it really was living there and seeing what's going on and being on the Navajo reservation. I'm not saying, you know, that may not have been the perception that they were getting if you were on the reservation, but it was certainly what we were seeing happening to the communities that we were trying to reach out with, including, you know, I, I, it was reminding me of the Ebola, you know, the issue with the burial practices and some of the things that uh, led to the continuation of that spread. We had the same issue when we were trying to solve what was hantavirus and why were 24 uh, year olds, 25 year olds, 30 year olds coming into the hospital with a flu like illness and dying in 24 to 48 hours. So we need to do autopsies. Well, autopsies are not something that the Native Americans believe in. So we had to go through huge negotiations to say, okay, and finally we were able to just do quick, like sort of core biopsies and sort of figure out like how to work with the community in order to solve a medical mystery, but yet respect, you know, their practices and so forth. So it was just a really interesting example of having to add all those other components onto something where we were just trying to save lives and figure out what's going on. And it slows things down and just adds a lot of nuances that, you know, are, are hard to probably describe unless you were part of that and experiencing it.